the Eisenhower Matrix. The White Eisenhower was the 34th President of the United States from 1953 until 1961. This time management technique is invented by him. Prioritizing tasks by urgency and importance results in four quadrants with different work strategies. If we divide a coordinate system into four quadrants, it helps us to set a priority order by categorizing the work that needs to be done as urgent, not urgent, important, not important. We call the first quadrant do as its tasks are important for your life and career and need to be done now or as soon as possible. The second quadrant we call decide or schedule. Its tasks are important but less urgent. You should list tasks you need to put in your calendar here. The third quadrant is for those tasks you could delegate as they are less important to you than others but still pretty urgent. If it's possible, someone else can do the tasks for you. The fourth and last quadrant is called Delayed or Don't Do because it's there to help you sort out things you should not be doing at all. Eliminate it. I have a new method of applying the Eisenhower matrix in the digital world. According to this, you don't need to sit down and take time to plan. You can use note applications in your phone. I am using Google Keep, but there are various applications in app stores. You can do four quadrants with different colors on the application. And whenever you think of something to do, you can immediately write it into the relevant boxes. No time wasted planning. For example, you have an exam in two days and you have to study. That's very important and urgent task. You can write in first quadrant start to study as soon as possible you have a homework to do for next week it's important but not urgent right in second quadrant you can schedule it you need to go for shopping it's urgent but not important right in third quadrant someone else can go for shopping tasks in fourth quadrant can be eliminated discover and stop bad habits like surfing the internet without a reason or gaming too long. These give you an excuse for not being able to deal with important tasks in the first and second quadrant. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method developed by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. The technique uses a timer to break down work into intervals. Short-term work sessions take 25 minutes, while small breaks take 5 minutes. A 30 minutes process consisting of work and break is known as a pomodoro from the Italian word for tomato. Name of this method comes from the tomato-shaped kitchen timer that Cirillo used as a university student. One pomodoro consists of four steps. Decide what task you need to complete, set the timer for 25 minutes, work on your task until the timer rings, take a short 5 minute break. When you complete 4 pomodoros in total, you take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. It's generally considered ideal to apply 8 to 16 pomodoros a day. This corresponds to working 4 to 8 hours a day. During the 25 minute work sessions, you only have to deal with the job you are dealing with. Avoiding any distractions will allow you to get maximum efficiency. In addition, dealing with the unfinished business like watching a TV series or reading an exciting novel during 5 minute breaks can seriously decrease the efficiency of the next session. You can use the small breaks by listening to music, doing short exercises or drinking tea and coffee.